Lots of things to think about when you're developing a research plan. First thing, of course, you've got to pick the topic. Now, think back to when you began your research, if you've already started. Um, how did you come up with the topic? Did you read first? Was it because of your past experience? Was it because it was topical in the newspapers or topical in discussions, maybe on television, radio? Um, but what was the motivation for the research? So we've got this idea of choosing a topic. And we've got the idea then that we need to develop a research question. Not always easy to develop a research question, of course. <clears throat> Quite difficult, um, especially if you haven't done it previously. We might begin to think of lots of questions, but they, if you're like me or like most people, unless you've got a very clear, critical mind, you tend to open up with a question that's perhaps too long, tries to consider too many things in the one question. Uh, and what you need to do is to focus that right down to just one question that's overarching that can be addressed to the research. And I think if you get the overarching question, often that will be the aim of the research as well. It will probably tell you what your aim is in the research. So developing questions are very important. We have to do literature reviews. We have to think about choosing an appropriate methodology. We've got to think about how we're going to collect data. And you've obviously given consideration to some of this so about how you collect data. I mean, the example of uh, who you'll approach, who's going to be included in the sample, why they're actually in that sample, what's the purpose of that sample. Um, what are you trying to find out? They will all be indicators of who perhaps you need to approach for your uh, data collection. And then you've got to think about perhaps one of the most difficult things in some circumstances is recruiting participants to the project. How do you get people to play the game with you and take part? And sometimes when you've got to get it, those participants to come into a program, You've got to think about the um, ethics of that. You know, for example, if I wanted to do work in a school, I'm sure you've got to go through all sorts of clearance checks and make sure that your um, probably criminal records checks and stuff like that to get inside. Uh, so that's, that's difficult um, and time consuming. So you've got to build it into the timeline for your plan. Uh, and you've got to get through those hoops first. Um, before you can get inside and collect your data. Same in hospital settings, you've got to go through perhaps in the UK National Health Service um, ethics procedures and they can take some considerable time. Another big challenge for the new researcher and particularly the qualitative researcher, although it's a challenge for all researchers, is data management. I say particularly for the qualitative researcher because if you think about a 60-minute a interview or a 90-minute interview, if it's that long, or a 30-minute interview even, you're going to have a lot of words on a piece of paper when you transcribe the interview. About 20 pages for half an hour, about 40 pages for an hour. So managing that data is important. So data management's an important thing. Um, and some of the things that can help with data management are things like um, Envivo, the software. Do you use Envivo? I've never heard of it. Have you not? No. Yeah. Well, we run a course, you know, on, uh, on, on Envivo. It's coming up, yeah. It's in a few weeks' time, I believe. But it's actually very, it's very useful as a data management tool as well as a means of analysis because you can put your transcripts and all your work inside the program, you can store it and have it accessible, and then you can do your analysis from the data inside it. 
data analysis, very important, very difficult. How do you analyse qualitative data? There are various tools and techniques you can employ to do it. We'll talk about those a bit later. And one of the key things for qualitative work is the, the evaluation of it. How trustworthy is the is the work and how credible is the work. So trustworthiness and credibility are, are very big in the psyche of a qualitative researcher. And then finally, we've got ethical considerations and we've got to write stuff up. 